giraffe and bird are not friends. Not even a little bit. Or are they? Not friends. Written and illustrated by Rebecca Bender. It's true that getting along can be difficult. If the bird could tell you, he'd say he can't stand the giraffe. And if the giraffe could tell you, he'd say he can't stand the bird. The bird, you see, makes funny faces at the giraffe. And the giraffe sticks out his long tongue at the bird. This makes the bird twitter in the giraffe's ear. That makes the giraffe invade the bird's personal space. Some days giraffe has bad breath. Other days, the bird eats too many berries, which are high in fiber. What? Frequently, the giraffe makes loud noises when he chooses food with his mouth open. Often, the bird slurps up a slimy worm in front of the giraffe. Yuck. Sometimes, the bird prunes his feathers just above the giraffe's head. This makes the giraffe sneeze. Every time the giraffe lets out a sneeze, Sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. The bird is blown right off the telephone wire. And every time the bird is blown off the telephone wire, he flies up to perch right on the giraffe's horns. When the bird perches on the giraffe's horns, The giraffe swats him with his ears. When the giraffe swats the bird with his ears, the bird pecks him with his beak. The pecking makes the giraffe shake his head until they are both dizzy. Dizzy and woozy, they both tumble to the ground. One day, the giraffe loses his patience and shouts at the bird. Scram, bird! The bird gets fed up and shouts at the giraffe. So they do. That night, there is a seriously scary storm. All the telephone poles crash to the ground. The giraffe wishes he could hide his eyes under the bird's feathers so he wouldn't see the lightning.
The bird wishes he could hide under the giraffe's ears so he wouldn't hear the thunder. The next morning, the bird feels glum. He has nowhere to sit and no one to pick and pack. The giraffe feels lonely. There is no one around to pester and perturb him. With no one around to pester him, the giraffe has time to think. The funny thing is that all the giraffe can think about is the bird. What can he do to bring the bird back? The giraffe agrees to help the telephone company for a while. He doesn't have to wait long for the bird to return. He doesn't have to wait long for the bird to start making faces again. Now it's true that getting along can be difficult. And if you ask these two, the giraffe might still say he can't abide the bird. And the bird might still say he can't stand the giraffe. <laughs> But we know better. <laughs> <laughs>